So this tutorial is going to be a really quick overview of how to create a narrated PowerPoint on the Mac 2011 version of PowerPoint. Uh, first thing to talk about is you want to be sure that your presentation is pretty much done. While it is possible to edit your presentation after the narration has been recorded, it's a good practice to make sure your slides are done or close to done when you record the audio. Okay, so uh, first thing you're going to need when you're going to record the audio is a microphone. And as far as microphones go, you have three different options. Many laptops have built-in microphones that you can use to record the audio. Sometimes these don't have the best quality. You can go ahead and test yours out, see how it sounds, see if it's loud enough, if you like the quality. Otherwise, we have two other options here that you can use at the MSC. One are headphones with microphones in them, or also we have professional quality microphones and an additional piece of equipment called a blue icicle that you can borrow here in the MSC to record your audio. So once you have your microphone, recording the audio is fairly straightforward. To start recording, you go here to the slideshow tab and you say record slideshow. So this just brought up the presenter view and now everything I'm saying is being recorded on this slide right here. And when I'm finished with the narration that will be played on this slide, I just hit this button here, and that takes me to the next slide. Now everything I'm saying is being recorded on this slide. It can also use the space bar, and now I'm at the last slide, and everything I'm saying now is being recorded on this slide. Now I hit the space bar again, and it's saying the total time for my slideshow was this amount of time, would you like to save the slide timings? And the answer is yes. Each of my slides has a little speaker icon indicating that there is audio associated with the slide. If I roll over it, you can play it this way, or you can also, when you say, play the slideshow down here in the slideshow view, it will come up automatically and then everything I said during that slide is playing right now. You may not be able to hear it because of the microphone is not picking up the speakers very well. And as you just saw, when the narration is finished on the first slide, it automatically advances to the next slide. And then again, to the final slide. To ever quit your the presentation in the middle of it, you can always just hit the escape button and now we're back here. After going through and listening to it, you may decide that you want to re-record some of the audio that was recorded while keeping some of the others. Now, for some reason in the Mac version of PowerPoint, this is a little bit more difficult um, as the record slideshow button only records from the current slide all the way to the end. Therefore, if you'd like to keep the narration on the first and the last slides, but like to re-record the second slide, there's a little workaround that I'm going to show you that will allow you to re-record this slide while keeping the other two intact. So first thing you want to do is save this PowerPoint, uh, and I'm going to save it using the Save As feature. I have it, a folder on my desktop called Narrated PowerPoints, and I'm just going to call this one narrated presentation. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and save it again as a temporary file. And you'll see why I do that in a second. And now I'm just going to name this one temp and make sure it is in that folder, which it is. Hit save. So now I'm going to open the temporary version. So now in the temporary version, I'm going to delete all the slides that I was happy with before because I'm going to re-record this second slide only. So 
I liked this slide, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. It's still safely saved in the other version, and this one as well, safely saved in the other version. So now I only have this one slide that I want to re-record in this current PowerPoint file. And so now I'm going to do the same procedure as before, go record slideshow. Now everything I'm saying is being recorded onto this slide, and I'm going to just go ahead and hit the escape button to, and it is again going to give me the same uh, feedback message. I'm just going to say yes, and now here we are. And I can either again play it through that way, or I can always go here and play this and listen to the audio that I just recorded. So now I want to take this slide and bring it back into the non temporary version of the file. So to do that, I'm going to select the slide that I want and then get up to go up to copy under the edit menu. And then I'm going to open the non temp version of the file, say file open, go to narrated presentation. So now I have both open. Maximize this one. This is the original file. And just so I don't get confused, I'm going to, this, remember, is the original recorded narration that I did not like. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And then if I go back up here to edit, paste, then when I play through the slides, just as before, it will start here. And when it's finished playing the narration on this slide, it will automatically advance to the next. And then I'm just going to hit Escape and cancel out of there. And so now your PowerPoint presentation is fully narrated. And just save it in the PPTX format. And so there you have it. That's all you really need to do to record narrated PowerPoints in the Mac 2011 version of PowerPoint.